Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to explore the Pythagorean Theorem in three dimensions. So let's say we have a point that lies somewhere in space and let's say the distance from that point to the origin is drawn by this line. So what we can actually do to solve that given length or that distance from this origin to this point in space is actually project the various lengths onto the x, y, and y, z planes. So what I'm going to do is drop down directly from the point, so this line or this dashed line is parallel to the z-axis, and at some time later, that this point is going to lie directly onto some point onto the x-y plane. So this may be the point that it projects onto. So you could imagine maybe this is going to be the x-y plane, and if you project at that point onto the x-y plane, it may land somewhere over here. So that's basically what I'm doing on this diagram. And we also could do the same thing for the xz plane and the yz plane. So we're going to project onto the yz plane, so that's directly over here. And if we have the yz plane, so let me draw that out, so y and z, you would actually see this distance projected on the yz plane, something like this. So that's basically, the, you're finding the point that touches the y-axis. So this point right here is the same point right here. And by that same logic, we could project this distance onto the xz plane. So one thing to point out is that these lines are parallel to these given axes. So I'm going to say that this is parallel to the y-axis. I'm going to say this line right here is parallel with the z-axis. And this line right here is parallel with the x-axis. So we could actually break this up into right triangles to find this length of this red line, which I'm going to call R. So if you look at this bottom projection on the xy plane, what we can actually create is this right angle, or right angle triangle, from here to here. So this angle right here is actually 90 degrees. So I'm going to call this side length of this right triangle A, and this side length B, and this is going to be H the hypotenuse. So by using the Pythagorean Theorem we can say that a squared plus b squared equals h squared. So now we actually construct another right triangle so from this projection from here to here and then from here to the origin. I know it's kinda hard to see but this angle right here is actually 90 degrees. And that's because this line, this red line, is parallel to the z-axis and this bottom length over here lies in the xy plane. Therefore, given this Cartesian system, knowing that x, y, and z are all perpendicular to each other, this angle must be perpendicular as well. So what I'm saying is that the xy plane is this, and we're having a line point directly out of it. Therefore, this angle is 90 degrees. So I'm going to call this a vertical length that's going in the z direction c. And now we can just apply the Pythagorean Theorem to this right triangle. So we can say that c squared plus h squared equals r squared. And we actually know the value of h because we solved it in terms of a and b. So what we could say is that a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals r squared. And this right here is the Pythagorean Theorem in 3D. If you want to find that given length r, which is the distance from the origin to some point in space, we could say that's simply the square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Now you may be asking, what if the values of a, b, or c are actually negative? So maybe a point that lies over here, which is being projected over here, and the negative y and x axes but in the positive z direction. If this is a prime and b prime and c prime, and a prime is less than zero as well as b prime is less than zero, if we put that value of a into the Pythagorean theorem in three dimensions, we notice that a prime gets squared, meaning it becomes a positive value. So whenever you take a number multiplied by itself, you're always going to get a positive value, regardless if it was negative. So this Pythagorean theorem in three dimensions works for all points that lie in space. So A, B, and C can also be negative, it doesn't matter. It ends up being positive when you do the calculation. This right here is the main thing of this video. A squared plus B squared plus C squared equals R squared. So hopefully this helped you guys. 
I'll see you in the next video.